Welcome back, ay caramba. Charlo, the chef, is taking us on a trip to Mexico today. That's Mexico for today. Sure. We got beef tacos on the menu oh, this morning. Oh, man, the smells. And in what there. an array of colour, flavours, smells. Yeah. You always bring it, Charlo. Well, Mexican style food is probably the cleanest food we can eat, guys, okay? Start of the summer, we're going to kick it off here today. So, we have our, our, our mince uh, Mexican beef uh, taco. So, what, what do you need for this, guys, right? We need our mince first, okay? So, we have uh, ground mince, we have chilies, we're going to add some spices into that. We have tomato salsa, we've got some avocado going on, we're going to make some guacamole, and going to show you how to make some homemade tortilla wraps and the shop bought ones as well. Mm, okay. or, uh, taco shells, okay? We're going okay. to make them into taco so shells. So, start with the beef. So, to start with the beef first, okay? So, we've got nice lean beef. Now, in the recipe, you can use, um, if, if you you find your beef uh, greasy, you strain it off, but we don't need to here because I, I bought nice lean beef. Yeah. So look out for that in the supermarket. 500 grams of beef in here with some uh, diced onion. We saute that off, and what I've done then while that's sauteing off, we've just dry roasted some cumin seeds. And this you is the trick. Them. This is the trick, yeah, you get the aromas going, but this is the trick to Mexican food. We dry roasted them, and we've just then tipped them into our, our um, greaseproof paper. A little tip when you're doing the greaseproof paper is that it, it sort of helps you don't spill them, so you just pop it in there, okay? And then what we're going to do is our little Mexican spice, and this is the key. We've got some chili powder, we've got some smoked paprika. All in, All in yeah. Smoked paprika is that sort of barbecue-y sort of season now, isn't it? So that gives mm -hmm. that barbecue aroma. Mm. We've got some garlic powder and onion powder. Lovely. And we've got some oregano. So, Simon, if you want to ground that for me. Okay, okay. so about a once, teaspoon of each. About a teaspoon of each, yeah. And again, like, you know, once you get used to the recipe, you can personalise it, you can make it hot if you want, yeah. yeah. So, How so, hot do you like to go? Well, I'm sort of a medium type of medium heat, you know, mm. personally. But, but, but the whole idea of the guacamole and, and the salsa and all that is to tone Balance. down the heat as well. So you can sort of counteract each other. So we have our mince ready. Once your mince is ready and you're happy that there's no grease in the pan, because this is a key to it, you can't have any grease on the pan, okay? So I'm just popping in our, 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 our spice. And then what you've got to do is you've got to just walk the spice in and cook the spice. Oh, the smell of that hitting the heat. <laughs> yeah, and what baby. I'm adding in here then is about 100 milliliters of beef stock. Now look at stock cube with some um, hot water is fine. We add that in. Mm. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add in some passata. Are you familiar with passata, yes. guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it takes all the work out of it, okay? Yeah. So you're just buying. A, 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 like amazing, really rich, vibrant colour, and it's like all blended, so you don't have, you know, if you're buying tin tomatoes and chopped tomatoes, yeah. you don't have that. Hassle. So that's essentially what that is. Comes in the, the carton. Exactly. That you get in any shop. Exactly. Yeah. A little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. So rest in peace. <clears throat> so here we go. A little bit of salt and pepper. Always from a height. Okay. Now we're going to just introduce you to sort of like the star of the show. Okay. These are the oh, bird's eye red chilies. Okay? Careful now. Yeah. Oh. Careful. So as you can see here, the smaller the better. And these these are just serious heat off these guys. I recommend two to three. So we're going to pop in two to three into our into our mince mix. Okay. Nice. And keep the seeds in. I mean, the seeds give you oh, the really? extra heat as well. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I keep the seeds. If you want to get this a little bit sort of up to medium to to, to medium heat. Okay. But medium hot heat and pop pop in your that's going to give it some kick that the red bird's eye chili mm. yeah that yeah, makes me slightly there's nervous a scoville, there's a scoville scale that mentions the temperatures okay yeah. measures the temperatures and determines your temperature so these are sort of hitting around you know the hundred thousand in heat and then above that then like we have you know the scotch bonnets are all familiar with the scotch bonnets they're more they'd be more sort of a lumpier um, they're thicker yeah, they have the barrel ones. shape they're exactly yeah. your head. now can i just talk to you about avocados when you're buying your avocados just make sure that you just get a little indent a little pinch okay a little bit give now avocados are very dangerous if they're not handled with respect believe it or not so just down across the middle and there's a big hard stone in there right so you just little twist and you'll see then you've got the perfect avocado. Yeah. So you know when you come home and they're too, they're too uh, you have to throw them in the bin because they're oh, too gone. I have ones in the, yeah. in the fridge for weeks. Here's, here's the thing, okay, keep the fingers away. You just got to do a nice indent into the stone and twist it and out it pops. Yeah. And ah. that goes into your bin. Okay, a lot of people, and I saw him was saying a few minutes ago, a lot of people would hold it in their hand and go in like that, and then the noise. The amount slips, of okay? A and E's that are filled up yeah. with people trying so to take stuff. So I'm going to ask you, Aiden, to scoop out the flesh, mash it. We're going to add in a little bit of lime juice because okay. Mexican, so Mexican all in here. food, yeah, Mexican food is all about lime, coriander. We've got some coriander there as well, and we have some um, some sour cream. Now what I have over here, that I've made a bit of salsa, Simon. I made uh, tomato salsa last night. I always find chutneys and salsas they're best made the day before. Yeah. I put it into a little killing jar here. Okay. Very mature. Yeah, exactly. So all I have is some. Some ripe, ripe tomatoes. I've got some scallions, some coriander, some salt and pepper, and then the lime juice. Okay. okay. Now, Great. what I'm going to show you over here, so I mean, just one second, is our taco shells. Now, okay. homemade if you want. Little trick: get a little dish from your oven, a little wire track, and you just a uh, wire rack, and you just pop these like this, and just pop them in there. Dry roast them in the oven. So I have some here that we made. Dry roast them in the oven. Very clever. If you want to go down that road, okay. 
Now I have some shop, homemade tacos. Yeah, these are the shop bought ones here, okay? Now, how's Aiden getting on? Yeah, I think well. Okay. You tell me if that consistency yeah. is Perfect. good enough. Yeah, just salt and pepper? Not yet, no. Okay, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, lime juice. This is all going on. Juice, isn't it? Some, we'll pop in this as well, okay? All of that. And what this does is just gives that velvety cream bit of texture. Fresh. A little bit of stirring there, Aiden. Good sure. stirring thing, Simon. Is he? Ah, he's very good, yeah. <laughs> very good stirring. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. that now. Now, I, I have... can do it both directions as <laughs> well. <laughs> so we're just going to assemble, okay? Now, look oh, at yeah. when you're having a, when you're having a Mexican taco party, you know, you're trying to bring all the bells and whistles. So we have the taco shells, we have the the, the mince, we have the guacamole. Have a taste, we, chef. Yeah, we have the guacamole, we have the, the sour cream. Aiden, we've just got one more thing in the oven there. You wouldn't mind mm -hmm. taking out the oven there. We've got, got a little, little something in the oven here. <laughs> every, every taco party. <laughs> every taco party. Is that on? <laughs> Is that on? <laughs> Are they cooked? One for you? <laughs> yeah. They're perfectly yeah, crisp. Excellent. Me, monsieur. Me, monsieur. Now, let's go. Yeah, arriba, arriba. Okay. Excellent. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to three um, assemble. The three amigos. Three stooges. <laughs> so, to assemble, I have a little bit of iceberg. Yep. I have a little bit of mince over here now, guys. I have this. I sort of prepared this earlier. <laughs> yeah. But can I just show you that it's not it's not saucy. You need it to be sticky. Yeah. Dry. Okay, dry. Yeah, because this will obviously aid, and you, you don't want it going all over you. Okay. No, or making it yeah, tacos exactly. uh, so soggy. The, the best thing I find is a little bit of shredded iceberg, yeah. a little bit of mince, and then no, a, little bit of, a little bit of Monica. Yeah. And then Simon, <laughs> yes. you want to. Do one for me as well. Just add it onto our wheel. Now what I did was I have this spinning wheel, and we said before we're going to make a taco, the, the, the Mexican taco wheel of fortune. So it's just a little bit of a gimmick, really, isn't it, guys? Just to have a bit of crack, crack open a few beers, and then you can and add in your own guacamole exactly. when you want it. Yeah. Or how so you want the guacamole it. comes over now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ready to go. A little small drop Laura, of guacamole come in and have a birthday here. taco. Come on. Is that a thing? Yes, it is. It is now, yeah. Yeah, we were hours be, making these. Right, if you just push hours. them over there, yes. bring this over here. Yeah, okay? as soon as it is your birthday, oh, thank yeah, you have that. The birthday hat. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the first thing, Laura. There you go. Happy birthday. Look at this. Laura, you have to change first. What a face. Where did you choose your taco, Laura? Choose the taco. Wheel of Fortune. Anna's not been left out, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. So there you go. So nice, fresh, fresh colours. You got your lime, you got your coriander, you got your beef tacos, and I just think it's a fantastic sort of way to start the summer, celebrate the summer. Summer. Let's go, guys. Yeah, it's a right. perfect yeah. dish for what summer out the, yeah, yeah. out the back garden. Exactly, exactly, yeah. It's nice and fresh. All you make flavors. it all look so easy, Charlie. You, 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 know, <laughs> you, you can make a guacamole the day right, before and the salsa the day before. Go for They're a bit go. messy. Let's, oh, let's not get a close-up. They wouldn't do that to us. Nice. No, mm. never. Shall I? I'll have a crunch. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, yeah. a little bit messy, mm. but guys, it's just a casual, it's sort of casual fun party season, isn't it? That's well, it. Just so, summer's mm -hmm. here, baby. Mm -hmm. Summer's here, baby. I have a read. Really delicious. Full Red for details are on the website. Well, check out Charles' website, channelthechef.ie, for more of his wares. Now, we'll be on the catwalk, excuse me, looking at the latest trends. <laughs> this really shouldn't happen, no, should it? Talk no. with your mouthful. We'll be looking at the latest trends in wedding styles <laughs> after this quick break. Well done, Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> Amazing souffle. The perfect way. Cooking perfection on Weekend AM. Brought to you by Dodi Trish.